I welcome you all to another session and today's topic of discussion is SDG 13 targets and indicators. We talk about the learning outcomes of the today's session. In today's session we will learn about the impacts of climate change, climate change impact on realization of SDGs, sustainable development goal 13, aims of Sustainable Development Goal 13, Targets and Indicators of SDG 13. So as we know that we are moving or heading towards a climate catastrophe and global warming is becoming a reality very fast. And this climate catastrophe is approaching very soon and window to avert it is closing down very fast. Natural calamities they are increasing day by day, which include heat waves, droughts, floods, which are affecting millions of people around the world, especially the poor people and the deprived people, and also those living in the underdeveloped countries. Climate change is causing potentially irreversible damage to the global ecosystems and the changes they are very much evitable and 2 million deaths they are reported around the world and there is loss of US 3.64 trillion dollars because of the global warming and climate change and also the natural disasters or calamities which are caused by them. Around 3.3 billion to 3.6 billion estimated number of people they live in areas having high vulnerability to climate change especially those people which are li uh, living in the small island developing states the arctic southern asia especially the countries like india bangladesh and pakistan then the arctic region and followed by central and south america sub-saharan africa so these regions they are highly susceptible or vulnerable to the climate change calamities. Then estimated 700 million people will be at risk of displacement uh, by drought alone by 2030 as estimated by various global agencies. The culprit behind is the anthropogenic emissions of various greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, mainly carbon dioxide and methane. We talk about the present concentration of GHGs and specifically of the carbon. Carbon dioxide concentration has increased by 148% as compared to pre-industrial levels. The concentrations of GHG as a whole as now it stands at 59 gigatons carbon equivalent specifically I am talking about the year 2019 as reported by IPCC. Power generation and energy sectors they contribute 36 percent of the GHG emissions into the atmosphere. GHG concentration it needs to decline by 43 percent by 2030 to achieve the net zero target by 2050 as subscribed by the Paris Agreement. And GHG emissions they are projected to increase at the rate of 14 percent in next decade as it is estimated by various global agencies. Global temperatures if we talk about they are reaching a new high. And the culprit behind is the anthropogenic emissions of GHGs or greenhouse gases. Global mean temperature it has reached 1.1 degree centigrade above the pre-industrial level in 2021. And 2021 
is the seventh warmest years on record if we talk about the uh, years from 2015 to 2021. On the current path of carbon dioxide emissions, temperature could increase by as much as 4.4 degrees centigrade by the end of the century. Even if, if we control the GHGs which are present in the atmosphere according to the Paris Agreement, then also the temperature, the global average temperature will see an increasing trend beyond the 1.5 degrees centigrade limit as uh, aimed in the Paris Agreement. Now we will talk about how climate change may affect the realization of SDGs. For example, uh, the climate change will lead to increase in food insecurity as global warming will increase the droughts and floods they are also increasing simultaneously with increase in droughts and flood the agriculture output will suffer and that will threaten the global food security and the food insecurity will increase in near future when the food insecurity will increase it will uh, affect the realization of SDG 1, SDG 2 and SDG 10. Another uh, effect of climate change can be seen in the form of melting of glaciers. If the glaciers will melt that will lead to changes in the flow of rivers specifically the perennial Himalayan rivers which mainly originate from the glaciers which are present in Himalayas and that will lead to the water insecurity. Water insecurity, the, uh, if it develops, it will affect the realization of SDG 6, SDG 7 and SDG 14. Then increased heat stress and heat island effect will have repercussions on the health of the people living in the cities. They are subjected to heat strokes and this will ultimately impact their health. And simultaneously waterborne diseases they will become very much common in near future as projected and that will impact the realization of SDG 3 SDG 6 and SDG 11. Loss of biodiversity because of changes in the ecosystem caused by the global warming and climate change, it will affect the realization of SDG 14 and SDG 15. Now we will come to what is SDG 13. SDG 13 or Sustainable Development Goal 13, it talks about the climate action and it emphasizes on taking urgent action to combat climate change and its impact. The major features of SDG 13 are, it aims to increase the adaptation and resilience towards climate related risks. It aims to integrate climate change into policy framework. It helps in increasing awareness regarding climate change and related risks. It aims to build capacity for effective climate related management. SDG 13 has in total five targets and eight indicators. If it, now we will discuss about the individual targets and indicators of SDG 13. The first target that is target 13.1 of SDG 13 talks about strengthening the resilience and adaptive capacity to climate related hazards and natural disasters in all the countries. The related indicators to this target are 13.1.1 which is number of deaths, missing persons and directly affected persons attributed to disasters per 100,000 population. Indicator 13.1.2, it is the number of countries that adopt and implement 
national disaster risk reduction strategies in line with the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction 2015 to 2030. Indicator 13.1.3 is the proportion of local governments that adopt and implement local disaster risk reduction strategies in line with the national disaster risk reduction strategies. Now we will discuss about target 13.2. Target 13.2, it talks about integrating climate change measures into the national policies, strategies and planning framework. The, there are two indicators which are linked to this target. Ta indicator 13.2.1, it is the number of countries with nationally determined contributions, long term strategies, national adaptation plans and adaptation communications as reported to the Secretariat of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change or UNFCCC. Indicator 13.2.2, it is total greenhouse gas emissions per year. Now we will talk about the target 13.3. This target talks about improving education awareness raising and human and institutional capacity on climate change mitigation, adaptation, impact reduction and early warning. There is only one indicator which is linked with this target and this indicator 13.3.1, it talks about the extent to which global citizenship education, education for sustainable development, they are mainstreamed in the national education policies, curriculum, teacher education and student assessment. Target 13.A. This target of SDG 13, it talks about implementation of the commitment undertaken by developed country parties to the UNFCCC to a goal of mobilizing jointly a fund of which is also referred as the Green Climate Fund of around 100 billion US dollars annually by 2020 from all sources to address the various needs of developing nations in the context of mitigation and adaptation to the various changes which is brought by the climate change. The indicators which are linked to the target 13.A is 13.8.1 which talks about amount provided and mobilized in United States dollars per year in relation to the continued existing collective mobilization goal 100 billion US dollar commitment through 2025. Then we will talk about the target 13 point B. This target, it promotes mechanism for raising capacity for effective climate change relating planning and management specifically in the small island nations and the least developed countries also referred as LDC. And this mainly focuses on the impact on the women, youth and local and marginalized communities of that particular nation. The indicators which are linked to 13 point B target is 13 point B point 1 which talks about the number of least developed countries and so small island developing states with nationally determined contributions, long term strategies, national adaptation plans and adaptation communications which are reported to the Secretariat of UNFCCC. Next, we will talk about the custodian agencies which have been uh, given the responsibility of reporting the data uh, which are linked to these various targets and their indicators. So, the main custodian agencies which are linked to SDG 13, they are UN International Strategy for Disaster Reduction which is also abbreviated as UNISDR and it has been appointed as the custodian agency for indicators 
13.1.2 and 13.1.3. Another agency which is United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC which is almost all of you are aware of along with UN Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization Institute for Statistics that is UNESCO UIS that uh, they have been appointed custodian agencies for indicator 13.2.1. Now UNFCCC and Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD they have been appointed as custodian agencies for indicators 13.3.1 13.a.1 uh, and 13.b.1 so in the end let us sum up what we have learned in today's session climate crisis is approaching fast with greenhouse gas concentrations they are increasing rapidly due to various anthropogenic activities SDG 13 aims at taking urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. SDG 13 aims to achieve this by increasing the adaptation and resilience towards climate related risks, integration of climate change into policy framework, increasing awareness regarding climate change and related risk and building capacity for effective climate related management. SDG 13 has five targets and eight indicators. These are some of the references. Thank you.